The Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins. There's a way you love someone and you empower them. Now you can see in the stories in the Bible of how Jesus handled people that were to be shamed. The woman at the well must have been so ashamed of herself that she could not go to fetch water with the women, other women, the time that they used to go fetch water. So she had to go in the middle of the day and Jesus fixed an appointment with that woman to tell her, this shame, I'm going to take it away today. Fix an appointment, meet, the woman, meet with a woman, that is in John chapter 4. And then had this conversation with the woman to get her to have a voice, to get her to talk. And then she talked and he did not condemn her. He loved her instead and even complimented her. You have five husbands and the one you're living with is not even your husband, not married to you yet. Complimented her, telling her the truth in love. And that empowered her. She said, no, you're a prophet. And she became an evangelist, could have a voice to go call a whole community, a whole city to come see Jesus. That was Jesus empowering her. In also in John chapter 8, we see about the woman that was caught in adultery. The man dragged Adel and said, today we're going to deal with you. To show me no one here what? You want to be committing adultery anyhow and this and that. But where was the man? The man was not found. Jesus said, any of you that is perfect, cast the first stone. To show you the nature of humans, you that is trying to make somebody ashamed, to shame somebody else, you have your own dirty linen. And all of them went by. Now Jesus, the only man who was able to condemn her and shame her, did not. He could, but he would not shame her. He was the only one remaining. And he told her, where are all thine accusers? And she said, none. He wanted her to have a voice. God wants to give you your voice back. The shame is not your identity. God wants you to have your voice back. You are not that shame. You are not what you've been through. You're not what you've gone through. This is my encouragement to you. If you're experiencing any kind of shame in your life, it is not God's will for you to remain there. Healing is your right. You can claim it. You can approach God. You can go for therapy. You can walk the walk. Don't be ashamed. You can actually get your power back. Jesus empowered this woman caught in adultery and said, I too have not condemned you. Now that empowerment was then where he told her, go and sin no more. The gift of no condemnation was to empower her to go sin no more. When the church and Christians try to use shame to point out people's fault, we are not operating from love. I'm not saying we should literally Try to hide the fault because hiding the fault is different from covering the sin. Covering is an intentional act. We are not trying to expose you for the whole world to see your nakedness, but we know about it. We are not hiding it, but then we are protecting you. The covering is a protection. So God decided to protect that woman through his son Christ. And then the scripture tells us generally, now there is now therefore no condemnation. To those who are in Christ Jesus. Because of what Christ has done at the cross, there's no condemnation for you, for your past, for your mistakes, for your faults, for your failures. Instead of condemnation, there is love for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope that this video will empower you and encourage you to go after God deeper and deeper. It is my pleasure to have you watch this video, and I hope that this video will empower you and strengthen you, strengthen your faith and make you get your voice back from every shame that you've experienced. Amen.